Guys, I am so excited about this devotional. Okay, so I'm here with our daily Disney devotional. And guess what number we're on? We're on number 90, which there's only a hundred of these. So we're getting kind of towards the end. But this is near and dear to my heart because it is my most favorite thing in all of Walt Disney World. Finding Nemo the Musical. I just love this so much. I love it. I've downloaded the soundtrack. I listen to it over and over again. I know all the words to every song. I have, we see it every single time that we go. We sit as close to the front as possible because it is so good. Okay, so let's take a break from the ex exciting rides at Animal Kingdom and move just a few shows featured to this park. There are actually some really good shows at Animal Kingdom that I enjoy almost as much as the rides. And we're gonna start with my very favorite, sorry. Yes, it is my favorite show at all four parks, not including the nighttime show Fantasmic. It is phenomenal. And I think it could even make it as a Broadway show if it was lengthened a little. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Finding Nemo, the musical. The Finding Nemo show, as we like to call it, opened January of 2007. <gasps> That's when my son was born. Jackson, Finding Nemo, the musical opened the month you were born. Okay. It takes place at the theater in the in the wild which is technically in dino land portion of animal kingdom although none of the three shows that have ever been there have been about dinosaurs the first show at this theater was called journey into the jungle book after that there was a show based on tarzan called tarzan rocks then there was a the then the theater was originally open to the elements without a roof but it was given a roof when the show Nemo moved in. The current show features live actors and life-size puppets and is 35 minutes long. It significantly condenses the original Finding Nemo movie. Unlike the movie, the show adds music with several featured songs that include the popular Big Blue World and Go With The Flow. This has by far been the most well-received show to grace a theater, welcoming thousands of guests per day. The show is performed six times daily at the theater, which holds 1,500 people and is full at most showings. The writers knew they had to make the popular film condense it considerably. To do this, they focused on a single theme from the movie, the idea that the world is dangerous and beautiful. It was the first time ever that Disney based a theme park musical on a non-musical movie. Six new musical numbers were written specifically for the show. The same writers, now I knew this, okay. The same writers who wrote the music also wrote the music to the popular film, Frozen. This show is one of three Nemo based attractions in Walt Disney World. Can you name the other two that we've already discussed? I absolutely love this show. To be, to be honest, I will say I have gotten a lump in my throat a few times while watching it. It's heartwarming story that includes great action, lots of humor, and some wonderful and catchy songs. My favorite song, from the show is called Go With The Flow. It's sung by Crush to Nemo's dad when he thinks he's completely lost. Crush is trying to send the message to just go with the flow and everything will work itself out. Even though I love the song and the message is very appropriate to the story, it is the exact opposite of what we need to do as Christians. Unfortunately, in today's society, a lot of people, including Christians, do exactly that. They go with the flow. They cater to and adapt to the world's standards. If the world says something is okay, 
then they go with it. The basic premise is that the majority rules. However, in Philippians 2.15, we are told to be blameless and innocent children of God, even in the midst of this crooked and twisted generation. Those may sound like harsh words that Paul wrote, but unfortunately, they are true. This world is full of evil, but because it's so much easier, a lot of Christians choose the path of conforming to what the world says is acceptable. Don't forget what Paul says in Romans 12 too, that we are not to conform to the world, but instead be transformed by the renewing of our minds. If you've ever seen Nemo the Musical, then if you've never seen Finding Nemo the Musical, then go see it. It's been a while since I've seen it myself and I can't wait to see it again. The actors and the puppeteers do a great job. It's a wonderful show and the music is fantastic. See if you enjoy the song, Go With The Flow, as much as I do. Also keep in mind that in our Christian lives, we are not to go with the flow. We need to be different from the world. We need to follow God's word no matter what. It doesn't matter what's popular or accepted by the world. What matters is what God says. That's the flow we need to go with. I love this show. It's my absolute favorite. I can't wait to see it again either. Bye guys, see you tomorrow.